Today I was called out to take a look at some baby birds that had been spotted on the ground. It's normal to see fledgling birds on the ground at this time of year and the caller did exactly the right thing by leaving them alone and calling us first. I'm being very silly because I've just seen that the gate's not shut in the slightest. So I shall take the easy route now and go through the gate. Seems to make more sense to me. Look. Why are you little squeak? Hey? It's just flying. Just starting to fledge. It's I'm tempted to leave it. It's really hard. It's flying. It's not flying well, but I think it's a sparrow. A little sparrow. The baby seemed alert and well fed. So the right decision seemed to be to leave it in its natural environment and allow mum to carry on doing her good work. Although sadly, at the mercy of the domestic cat. And we know that over 55 million birds are got by cats in the UK every year, which is a pretty scary number. Just as I was about to go back to wildlife aid, Andy the cameraman spots a couple more baby birds but more importantly, what he thinks is an adult sparrow behind a shed. I would think that's possibly the mother. It's dead. So that changed the whole scenario now. We have no choice but to take the babies back to the center. It's horrible, but well spotted by Andy, the cameraman. Now the trick is to find these other little babies. So where did we see them, Andy? Where were they? There's definitely one here right now. Okay. But how to get that one is gonna be a bit tricky, I suspect. But not that tricky. Right, so there's one of what the gentleman thinks were four. Right, try to climb with a bird in my hand is not so easy. The gentleman's got one over there. Necessity is the mother of invention. I haven't got a box with me. So one baby in a plastic bag. So there's two right here now. Okay, hang on. Alright little ones. Alright little ones. Alright little ones. Okay. Come on then, come on then. Oh, and stop it, stop it, stop it. Don't just film it. Okay, there's two. All right, little ones, you're sitting there for a minute. And there's one somewhere down here, isn't there? Oh, oh it's coming your way, Andy. Right, a hand comes out from behind the camera and grabs a robin. That's the cameraman one. I got two, so we've got three. The gentleman saw four. Let's just see if there's one still back out over here. Right, I'm just going back because eagle-eyed cameraman has spotted another one. But he's made me go over the fence and we don't know it's an adult or a baby. I suspect it's a baby, but let's go and have a look. As I walk towards it, the baby bird darts under the fence into the next garden. But luckily, I managed to gently grab it through a hole in the fence. Well, that's number four. So. A plastic bag full of baby sparrows. How are you doing, little ones? You stay in there. We'll take you back and give you some dinner. First time in 33 years I think I've carried a, a, a patient back in a plastic bag. Back at Wildlife Aid, after being given a full bill of health by our volunteer vet, Christina, the four little babies are put into a warm incubator and given a quick meal. We are just at the beginning of what we call silly season. That's the orphan season here at Wildlife Aid. So we will get loads and loads of calls like this. So do check back and you'll see what we're up to. Right. Too badly caught, which means there's going to be no constriction injuries. 